Hey you all, welcome to Pearls of Eden. Thank you for joining me. My name is Marilyn Acosta and welcome to all of the old subscribers and all of my old friends and the new subscribers that have decided to join the family. Welcome, you are welcome here. Today I wanna to get into some current news. Um, I heard a little bit about this bits and pieces but it's been so busy this weekend, I haven't had a chance to talk with you all about it. Bishop Mari was attacked while he was given a sermon or a message. Now, I have come across some of his messages here and there. I haven't um, listened to him write out like a whole message, but he seems like a great guy. Nonetheless, no one deserves to get stabbed while delivering a message, and especially the message of the Lord, our Savior, right? So we always wonder, you know, when we see men of God with these vast security uh, systems and people following them around, is it necessary? And I've come to tell you, I believe so. In the times and the seasons that we're living in where people's mental state is just not right and people are ready to pop off and attack you just because they don't agree with you, yeah, men and women of God have to stay covered in the natural and the spiritual, you all. You know, it's just like you have a door on your home, right? We know that angels are all around, but we still put a door on our house, right? Because in the natural, it keeps people from coming out. Now, we know know we have our angel angelic armies that keep the spiritual and the natural things at bay but nonetheless we got to use common sense so in my perspective I think it's very necessary and this goes even further to prove why men and women of God they need a security team they need people around them that are watchful and vigilant and ready to move at any given notice right and thank God, Bishop Mari is okay, you all. He's fine. But this man stabbed him multiple times, okay? While he was giving the sermon, I'm not going to even show you the clip where it's so gory. If you want to see it, you can pull it up on these internet streets. But I'm not going to do it here. Um, but he gives a remarkable response, you all. But first, let's back up. Because do you all want to know why he attacked Bishop Mari? Because he said this in an earlier message. So don't tell me we believe in your Jesus. You don't. My Jesus is God revealed in the flesh. He was crucified to save the whole world. This is my Jesus. There is, in here, it's non negotiable area. We can't sit and say, let's come up with a solution. Now, this is the solution and the only solution. You better believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is God Himself. He was crucified. He was buried, rose from the dead on the third day, and He will come to judge the living and the dead. For He is God revealed in the flesh. Period. Now listen, this is why I say we do not serve the same God. Allah, the Quran is not the book of the Bible. It is not the same God. And people need to understand that. Um, Allah does not believe in love and forgiveness. Allah is on the attack. You know, Allah does not seek a relationship with his people. But our God, the, the God of Moses and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, listen, our God seeks to have a relationship with us. Our God seeks to be restored to us. We serve a God of forgiveness and love. And Bishop Mari displays this beautifully, you all. Take a listen to his response to the young man who was only 16 years old, who stabbed him because he disagreed with the mes message that Bishop Mari said about Islam and basically came for his God. Take a listen to his response. I'm, uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, bring very quickly, we thank the Lord Jesus. So there is no no need to be worried or concerned. Whatever has happened to me personally, I thank the Lord Jesus. It's, it's a huge blessing for me. Yeah, I forgive whoever has done this uh, act. And I say to him, you're my son. I love you. Wow. And I will always pray for you. And whoever sent you to do this, I forgive them as well. In Jesus mighty name. Uh, and a piece of advice to our, all, uh, our beloved faithfuls. I need you to act Christ-like. The Lord Jesus never taught us to fight. The Lord Jesus never taught us to retaliate. The Lord Jesus never said to us an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. The Lord Jesus said, never return evil with evil, but return evil with good. 
Now, I would hope we would all have this level of forgiveness in our hearts when people come against us. Sometimes people have trouble forgiving people for the most smallest offenses, but here we are, this man has been stabbed, he's injured, he's in the hospital, his life almost taken, and yet he shares the response of love to someone who meant him no good, right? This is the response of someone who knows God. This is a response of someone who is a true believer of the way. And so while I've not listened to many of his messages, okay, his response, the fruit that he is bearing speaks that he knows the one, he knows our savior. And so I just wanted to share with you all this current news, um, what's going on inside of the church, you all. Um, stay prayed up, stay covered, use common sense, you all. We have to operate with common sense in these days. And um, yeah, I'm gonna come back later and I wanna give you a message about that, about forgiveness, because actually the Lord, before I even planned on delivering this, he gave me a message to talk about that comes from Matthew. And also we're gonna talk about how to minister to those in your own home and the impact that it makes when you are someone that operates in the truth and it is seen in private and it is seen in public. All right guys, so I'll come back. We'll do another teaching on that later if I have time, but you all have a blessed day. I love you to life and yeah, stay alert, stay vigilant. Bye.